Al Jazeera has gone live from Cairo for the first time in eight years, and Qatar's Amir sends a search and rescue Lihuya team to Turkey as wildfires blaze through the country. In Qatar, a heated debate ignites over new quarantine requirements for some Asian countries. Keep watching for more. And finally, Team Qatar makes its mark in Tokyo. Hey, I'm Farah, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are the top stories. We start off in Egypt where Al Jazeera has gone live for the first time in eight years. The broadcaster's Cairo office was closed in 2013 amid coverage of now President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's overthrow of Mohamed Morsi, the country's first democratically elected leader. Since then, multiple Al Jazeera journalists have been detained, some without trial. Global press freedom organizations have described Egypt as one of the world's worst jailers of journalists. But eight years on, prominent Palestinian reporter Shirin Abu Akhle was seen on air from Egypt on Saturday as ties between Cairo Cairo and Doha continue to warm post-2017 blockade. Moving on to Turkey, where Qatar has sent a Lekhwiya search and rescue team to help with rescue operations as the country suffers from deadly wildfires. Since Wednesday, fires have raged across several regions in Turkey, including Antalya, Mersin, and Mula, all of which are popular tourist destinations. Hundreds of homes have been destroyed or damaged, and so far, six people, including two firefighters, have been killed. Now back in Qatar, outrage has erupted on social media following the Ministry of Public Health's latest decision. Over the weekend, the health ministry said that those vaccinated in Qatar that are returning to the Gulf state from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and the Philippines will need to hotel quarantine for two days. Travelers can only leave on the second day after providing a negative PCR test. All other travelers coming from the six countries will need to quarantine at a hotel for 10 days starting from Monday, August 2nd. However, the public has not received the decision well, with many expressing their anger at the unfair decision. For more on this, head on to our website. And finally, Team Qatar is shining in Tokyo. High jumper athlete Martez Bersham reached for the stars earlier today after securing a second gold medal for Qatar. Bersham defied gravity with a 2.37 meter jump, tying with Italy's Gianmarco Tamberi. Just yesterday, weightlifter Faris Ibrahim made history for Team Qatar after lifting 225 kilograms, bringing home the first ever Olympic gold medal for the Gulf state. Congratulations to Qatar's golden stars, Martez and Faris. That's it for me today, but for more of our stories, head on to our website.